Hey guys, Artosis here, bringing you another sponsored match. This one is just a best of one. It's between Scan in the bottom left and Yoon in the top left. Should be an excellent game. These guys have already played some great series together. Uh, and the map is going to be Polypoid, right? This is Polypoid. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so anyways, uh, Yoon sending his Overlord down towards the bottom left. This, uh, I'm... I'm thinking back, right, because I casted maybe a week ago or maybe it was a little bit more, a series between these two players uh, already that was a best three and it was a very close two to one uh, that Scan ended up taking down, but uh, very well played from both sides, you know, definitely two of the strongest up and coming uh, players for their races. What is, what is this? Why is this Overlord turning back around and then turning around again? That's kind of weird. <laughs> Must have been a misclick. I can't imagine what else it would really be. Uh, even if you wanted to mess up scout timings, you wouldn't send it back that early, probably. Anyways, uh, let's just see, you know, how th how these guys end up opening. Scan definitely been showing us uh, really a ton of uh, barracks openings for the most part. Marine Medic, definitely his go-to. Yoon, uh, pretty flexible overall. Might be time for him to get more aggressive, I guess. And uh, definitely we've seen some good late game from him as well, but a few mistakes here and there have cost him. Now I'm just going to go ahead with that hatch first. And we wait for Scan, who seems to be going command center first, which is kind of crazy. You don't see this all that often, but you know what? When you play one player a lot of times, it's good to occasionally throw this in. Uh, command center first, of course. If they go pool first, you just die. But when they go hatchery first, which is most games, especially at higher levels, uh, you get actually like kind of a huge boost. It's it's the best of all worlds. Like you can get quick upgrades with your engineering bay. You can get a quick academy as well. It just everything fits together beautifully. So gonna go ahead and scout with this SCV. Already starting his barracks up as well. He'll have to start another depot very shortly here. And we just wait for Yoon to see. Okay, so he sees now that it is, in fact, Command Center first, and he's got to be kind of kicking himself because, well, that's going to give Scan a big boost as far as economy goes. So Scan right now kind of sending his SCV across the map. Not going to find Yoon right away. Yoon sending the drone down uh, for that scout as well. Double barracks coming up here for Scan. And yeah, Yoon just going to throw down his lair as quickly as possible. Maybe the best play here is to just get your Mutalisks out and try to earn back uh, the disadvantage that you kind of already have from your opponent having such a quick expansion. Before SCVs being sent down. Ooh, the drone might actually end up getting this SCV. Yeah, I think he's going to end up getting the kill on that. Oh, the little juking up the ramp there. Paying off beautifully. Oh, and he still gets the kill, and this will get out. One Marine cannot stop that. No way, no how. Uh, so, well done from you. I mean, that's a start at least, right? Zergling's now on the way, but the bunker is being made. So, we'll see if he can actually get that up in time. Oh, my God. 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 Ooh, he just barely gets it up. Now, the Marine going to run in the middle of the bunker. So, only one uh, Zergling can attack. And, of course, the Zergling will end up winning. But that buys him a bit more time. In the meantime, his SCV up here scouting exactly what's going on. And he sees drones are being made. So, he knows that there's not that many more Lings that will have to be dealt with. And, oh, he actually ends up losing another Marine. So, a little bit of miss micro there from Scan. Good micro from Yoon, on the other hand. And, oh, my God. During all that micro, Scan ended up getting a drone. So... I would say overall, after all of that, uh, the back and forth, not counting the command center first, a little bit better for scan, I would say. Okay, so refinery on the way. He did see the timing of that spire, which is, of course, very, very important. Full bunker loaded up. Some nice defense there. It's actually kind of good bunker placement. I might try to steal that one. Uh, and, of course, the Engineering Bay coming up pretty quickly here as well. There's the Academy. And everything looking pretty good for our Terran player. Now, with Yoon, my question is going to be, is he going to run over and take a third hatchery pretty quickly? It's pretty standard with two hatch play that's this quick. 
Uh, but because he's playing against a command center first opener, I'm not sure if that's exactly who he's going to go for. By the way, scan going up to four axes. So really powering heavily here. Look at that SCV count. 30 SCVs already against just 18 drones. So a very, very strong economy. Now, as the Overlord pops out, four mutas get started. He's going to want to start some more immediately. We'll see if he gets an attack upgrade as well. A few Zerglings out trying to do some harassment. You see just a, a handful more over to the side. Yeah, I don't think he's really going to get much more done here. Scan kind of moving back and forth with those Marines, zoning them out. Stim not quite halfway done. Couple turrets on the way. Muta's flying down. Seems like the turrets are very well timed. They should be finishing just as the Mutalisks get there. And of course, two Mutas aren't going to be able to one-shot an SCV, so... Looks like he should be good. Look at how well timed out that is. That's actually crazy. <laughs> yeah, so the mutas get pushed back immediately. Plus one attack for the mutas on the way. More mutas being produced as well. No drone on the map. So now we can see what Yoon's plan is. Like he might go all in with mutas. That's definitely a possibility. Scan though with four raxes. I'm I'm nervous for Yoon. Like. The amount of production that he has going on right now after such a smooth opening is going to make it really hard for Yoon to get another expansion up to keep pressure on because he's probably going to have to use his units a bit defensively. Now look at this. Use those Zerglings to run in and get some extra hits on the turrets. Yoon picking off a couple of the turrets already, but losing a couple mutas here as well. The Marines backing up those turrets very, very strongly. Still massive production going on. Definitely wants to think about getting some more turrets. I think he should start two more. Yeah, immediately there. The Muta's coming back in. Once again, you can see how strong this Mutalist Micro is right now. Picking off actually quite a few Marines at the moment. Hmm. All right. So does push him back for now. Yoon continuing to make Zerglings and Mutalisks, not making any more drones. So I think we kind of see exactly what he's going for. He wants to be able to bust up the army, continue the harassment, all that. Uh, he's a bit all in with this, uh, especially considering what good shape the economy of Scan is in. But hold on. Looks like he is going to be able to eliminate this smaller group of Marines and Medics. But some more reinforcements coming out. Can he kill those off as well? It looks like the answer is yes, which means he's going to get the medics as well, or at least most of them. Oh my god, kills every single one of them. Beautifully done right there. Really, really strong there. play there by Yoon, who now flies into the single turret. Did scan overextend? It looks like he's in a bit of trouble. Marines popping out. The mutas are not out of the highest health. But really, there's so few Marines here. I'm not sure what you're supposed to do here is scan. Like, Ling's getting up here as well. He's going to be able to get after the missile turrets he wants or just stay on top of the barracks. Probably the best play he can do because there's only three Marines that are actually out on the map right now. More mutas coming in, getting over these barracks and kind of a crazy turn of events here. This is a huge advantage to Yoon. In fact, he might end up winning straight off of this. I think you have to try to turret push your way up, but it doesn't seem like even that's going to end up working. The Zergling's getting on top of all this as well. 11 mutas going to be a bit too much here for Scan to deal with. He does pop out a Vulture to help against some of these Zerglings. More are coming down right now. Zero, uh, zero Marines really out at all. And yeah, I think that's going to be it. I think that's basically game. It looks like Yoon getting a bit of revenge for that last series that they played. Even against the command center first, which basically did not get punished. A great choice to go completely aggressive here and try to finish the game as quickly as possible. Camping on top of those barracks. GG. Yoon takes down Scan.